In the case of President Obama, this is not a monthly statistic or even a half-yearly statistic. We've looked at now almost four years of policies that have not gotten America working again. We've seen that his tax policies have not encouraged investment in America. We've seen that Obamacare has made it less likely for small businesses to hire. We've seen his financial regulatory burden make it less likely for small banks to make loans to businesses that need those small bank loans to get started and to grow. His policies have not worked, and that's just not a short period of time. That's over a four-year period of time, almost. And the American people have now had a chance to see whether his policies will help America and help them and help people looking for jobs, or whether instead those policies are counterproductive when it comes to jobs. And I think the, uh, the evidence is in again and again and again. Remember, the president at the beginning of his term predicted that if he was able to put in place his stimulus and his other policies, they would be able to keep unemployment below 8 percent, 41 months above 8 percent, pretty much defines lack of success. It has been a failed series of policies. Their prediction was unemployment would be at 5.6 percent now. Instead, it's 8.2 percent. Millions and millions of families are struggling and suffering because the president's policies have not worked for them. And I represent a very different course. I believe a better path, one that has been demonstrated time and again over our history to encourage job growth in this country. And that's a very simple strategy. Keep the burdens down from government. Encourage the dreamers to come to America, to invest in America. We do that again. You'll see America working again.